Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Redbirdy7. I make well, I used to make usually Valorant related content, mainly FPS content in general. Uh it was lots of live streams and I concluded that with a eh, mixed received uh Valorant montage, if you will, but it was it was not my best piece of work. Uh do not take that quality as what the quality will be for what I'm putting out in the future. Thank you. Uh, that's just my little disclaimer there. So, in this video, I would like to be reviewing a popular upcoming game known as Splitgate. Now, I will get into explaining Splitgate, the gameplay, everything about this later on as this is a review video. But I just first wanted to address the lack of content I've been putting out. Now, I did make a video uh, a while back. Not a while back. It was literally just, I believe, like a few hours ago. Uh, it was regarding the lack of content I've been putting out. It was titled, I am back. And yes, I will be coming back in this video is evidence of that. Uh, now, I can't give you an exact date on when this video will be coming out. Of course, when it comes out, you won't know because you are currently watching it. But uh, the editing process for this may be a bit strenuous, a bit, a bit extensive, if I want to do it well, at least. So if this takes a long time and you may only be seeing live streams, for a while, that is why. Although once again, uh, when this video comes out, you will you will know how long it took. I do not know how long this will take me. I'm assuming uh, around a week or so, but we will find out. So, without further ado, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, the lack of content. It was just me procrastinating, being lazy. I did have a few things going on, family vacations and all that good jazz, but it was summer, I have no excuse, I should have been doing things, but I was not, but I am now. So that was regarding the lack of content, but I am back now, there will be more live streams, more videos, and I hope to grow my channel uh, a bit extensively this year, so hopefully that can happen. So let's just get right into the video, no further delay, no further explanation of the content lacking thereof, so let's begin with a bit of explanation on what Splitgate is. What is Splitgate? While many of you may already have heard of Splitgate and know of its unique mechanics, I would like to provide a quick explanation on what exactly Splitgate is. Splitgate is a new and upcoming cross-platform first-person shooter, which plays similar to the likes of Overwatch, Halo, and Portal combined. What makes this game unique is its combination of intense first-person shooter action with the complexity of portals, adding unique movement mechanics and overall making this game that much more exciting. Splitgate contains a variety of game modes, weapons, player cosmetics, and weapon skins. In addition to the core game content, Splitgate contains a battle pass, item shop, daily challenges to provide a linear sense of progression and leveling. Now that you know a little bit about the game and its core mechanics, let's hop into a closer look and overall review of the game. Gameplay and Mechanics The gameplay of Splitgate is exciting and unique, mixing standard FPS gameplay with complicated movement mechanics, such as jetpacks and portals. The complex mechanic of using portals and jetpacks to move around the map and outsmart your enemies proves to be a welcome challenge and trains you to think out of the box to best your enemies and win the round. I have personally found these mechanics to require a steep learning curve, but once you understand the fundamentals of portaling, you will find out that the skill becomes second nature to you. Splitgate contains a variety of powerful and unique weapons, from the run-of-the-mill assault rifle to the all-powerful railgun. As Splitgate is still in the beta phase of its development, there still remain balancing issues in the game which need to be addressed before the full release. The game modes found in Splitgate vary greatly, and consist of multiple categories. You have your casual core game modes, which remain relatively unchanged and are best for learning the core mechanics of the game. You then have limited get time game modes, which can provide an exciting new form of gameplay for a short amount of time, which can be a relief from the core playlist that can become relatively mundane after a long period of time. Finally, you have your ranked playlists, which consist of core game modes that simply feature a ranking system. However, to gain access to the ranked playlists, you'll find yourself doing a large amount of grinding in these standard core playlists, which can become 
quite boring quite fast. In my opinion, I find the ranking system to still be in its infancy and could use some rebalancing in how it adds and removes its rating. However, we will get into that later. Overall, I find the gameplay of Splitgate to be something fresh and exciting, yet familiar with core FPS mechanics. If you already have experience with first-person shooters, you will adapt to this game relatively easily, assuming you can conquer the mind-bending mechanics of the portals. I give Splitgate an 8 out of 10 in this category. Performance I find Splitgate to run perfectly without any issue on maximum settings. However, this will not be the same for every system, especially considering I have above average specs in my computer. Looking at the settings of the game, Splitgate provides a range of performance options to allow users on lower end systems to still run the game without issue. In testing these myself, I can say that there is not a large sacrifice to quality or any other aspect of the game for that matter. Looking at the minimum requirements to run this game on your system, it looks like this game is available to a very large range of players and should not be an issue to run on many systems. I'll put the minimum specs on the screen for you now. Based on the smoothness and high performance of the game, despite beautiful quality in most regards, I give Splitgate a 9 out of 10 in this category. Presentation Splitgate is still in its beta phase of development, so of course you can expect poor quality in some areas. However, it is quite difficult to find many aspects of the game it is actually lacking in. Splitgate provides smooth yet intense gameplay with beautiful graphics and a wide range of cosmetics, along with a very solid design on the visuals throughout the entire game. Splitgate features an extensive locker interface, allowing you to customize all guns available to you in the game along with multiple aspects of your character, making your player completely unique to you. You can even choose custom player cards and titles to display with your username. You can tell that the small team of devs have really poured their soul into this game, as the game is presented to you beautifully. As an added benefit, the game is completely free on Steam. As of today, August 13th, the game has been met with highly positive reviews on Steam, and you can tell that it has a highly dedicated fanbase. I am going to give Splitgate a 10 out of 10 in this category, as I find the game has everything it should and more, along with great visuals and customization of everything about your character. Overall, amazing game. Critiques and final thoughts. While Splitgate is a great game, no game is perfect. Splitgate presents balancing issues with weapons such as the shotgun and railgun, among others. While the developers have tried to address these issues in the past, they still remain unbalanced and should be corrected as soon as possible. Splitgate presents a transparent rating system, however it is definitely a challenge to progress up the ranks and not down the ranks in the rated playlists. In these still early stages of the game, player rankings aren't exactly where they should be, which brings a rather unknown variable into your rank, which is mainly based off of luck. Whether you win or lose is simply a roll of the dice, depending on your teammates and the enemy, which even though they can share your rank, they definitely have a skill level far above or below the threshold of the current rank. However, we can see this in most ranked games in general, so I can't really criticize this game for it. Just perhaps more modifications to the skill based matchmaking and the rating system in general may be needed. Overall, I think Splitgate is a great FPS, which provides fresh and exciting mechanics and should definitely be on your list to try out since it's free and available on most platforms and systems. I am going to give Splitgate an overall score of 9 out of 10. The game delivers on what is promised and goes above and beyond your expectations, which provides for a great gaming experience. 
So guys, did you enjoy that video? I really hope you did, because it took me way longer than I expected to edit, and uh, I had to restart a few times, the software crashed, and I haven't I had to even like film this video. This, what you're seeing right now, this outro section, I had to film this a few times, because the mic was muted after I talked for like 10 minutes. I don't, I, I can't even like remember what I was talking about, so all of that's gone. This was on just mute for 10 minutes, and I was just like, da da da, just talking to the camera, and uh, no one could hear me. So, I'm doing this again. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I go live or post another video similar to this. So, guys, uh, really, did you enjoy this video? It was kind of an experiment for me, honestly. Uh, I don't do voiceovers and stuff. Uh, you can probably tell why. I've mentioned it in my live streams before. I just... My mouth doesn't mouth well, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't speak well. I don't speak well as a human, and that's always been an issue. Enunciation... Um, especially, like, the, the letter R. R. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, like, not my, my strong suit. Speaking, <laughs> speaking is not my, one of my top skills. And, um, that's kind of, that's kind of sad. Anyway, um, I hope that I did get the message across in each section and you could understand me well. If not, um, there might be subtitles or something. I still have to figure that part out. So, um, but... Really, I am working on it. I hope that it turned out well. I was doing my best to speak clearly and concisely, even though at some points I got lazy and kind of just dropped the uh, some of the enunciation I was attempting to do, which I don't even know if that got across me. Because I, uh, I've heard myself so much that any lisping or like anything I have like that, uh, it just kind of blends in, and I don't register it. I'm like, wow, I'm talking very clearly. When in reality, someone who does not hear me talk that often. They listen to me and they're like, what, what is this guy saying? That could be happening right now. You could be asking yourself, what is, it, what is this dude saying? I can't understand a word coming out of his mouth. Um, obviously, I'm not trying to speak as clearly right now. I'm not speaking slowly like I was kind of doing in the review. But uh, I was doing my best to try and keep a nice, clear, and concise audio feed for you guys. It's, uh, it's been an experiment. It's been a, a long time. And very painful experience trying to get this video out to you guys. This should be going out on Monday, which is tomorrow, my time. Today, your time. So, hopefully everything goes well. The video gets some tr good traction going. And, uh, yeah. If you have any feedback, thoughts, comments on this type of content, leave it in the comment section below. If you liked it, be honest. Be honest. If you did actually like it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know too. Because I need to know what to make in the future. I'm trying to get this channel back uh, jump-started again. And if I don't know what to make, it makes it a lot harder to make stuff that you guys like. So I need to know, did you like this video? Did you skip some parts? What parts do you not like? What was not the, the best part about the video? I felt that the editing was a bit lacking, but it, it is my first time editing a video in years. Also, it's my first time using this software, uh, which is DaVinci. So I'm just hoping that it came out acceptable and that maybe you watch the whole video, maybe you skip to the end. I don't know. Uh, you can tell me. I won't be mad. I won't be mad. You can tell me if you skipped here. Uh, you can go back and watch it too if you want to see the whole thing. I have some good clips ish. Um, some of the background gameplay was a bit iffy, but towards the end it got a lot better. So, yeah, I I'm going on too much. I'm ranting right now. Um, if you enjoyed, like, comment, let me know anything you want to let me know in the comments below, and I will read your comments and hopefully take it into consideration for the future. Uh, notification bell, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, stay subscribed, please. And if you aren't have that, if you aren't have that bell, if you don't have that bell on, turn it on. You can always ignore the notification. I just like it on, so you can know when I upload or go live. Okay, that was a lot. I understand. You may be gone by now, but if you're still here, you're you're a good one. Okay. I'm going to leave now. It's been I I I think I've covered all the bases I wanted to talk about in the end here. Um. Yeah, so, bye. 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 You know what? Bye.